Right, right. Oh my god! Shit. Pack it up. Pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. Right? Hmm. Fight to proper hanging filth. So yesterday we left Edinburgh, or Edinburgh. Roads were absolutely exceptional. Um, Road through Glen Eagles. Yeah. We saw Balmoral Castle. Yeah, that was impressive. Dockhart. We saw those um, little waterfall things. And then we stopped at the at Killin. Yep. And lunch. yeah, the Moulin Hotel. Um, that was nice. Very nice. Unfortunately, yesterday's footage from the helmet cameras, um, yet again, the ones that we've got on our helmet are the new uh, Drift Ghost XL Pros, which we're going to do a review on those um, and also share some communications that I've had with Drift, Drift Innovation. Um, really not impressed with A, the quality and the service of which they're not providing. Stabilisation is just rubbish, so the footage from mine isn't usable because it's all over the place. Yeah, so we apologise for that because we will use some of Sarah's footage. Um, it might make you sick. But yeah, if you feel a bit a, a bit seasick, We'll put in the then, complaints detail to drift. Yeah, um, just had breakfast, just about to pack up. So yeah, we've got quite a lot of stuff that we need to get packed up again. This is probably the biggest ball ache of the whole trip, isn't it? It's the whole packing, unpacking, loading, unloading, and just generally. Making sure you haven't forgotten anything. We're now in a place called uh, Grand Town on Spey. We are on day three um, of our trip, but technically day two of the tour. So today we are going very close to John O'Groats, but not actually going to John O'Groats. Um, so, which we're a bit disappointed with that. Mm. I mean, it would have been nice to have done that, but apparently one of the roads that we would have to miss to do John O'Groats is absolutely worth doing. It's a military road, did she say? No, so we're doing General Wade's Road, which is down to Loch Ness. Yeah. And we're gonna go down the bottom to Fort Augustus, yeah. and then all the way up the other side. Okay. But the road that we would miss is the one off the A9. So it's about 200 miles again today, is it? It is, yeah. This is almost this is almost race racetrack road surface. Right, how long after them last the ones leaving were we behind them? Would you say about ten minutes? Yeah. So I think it will take us a good hour or two to catch them up. Mm, it's really muddy up here. You might want to hang back. Okay. That's bang out of order. This much fucking mud. We are in the Highlands of Scotland. It's, it's nice for us to come and experience these kinds of environments. Oh yeah. my God. I know, I was just about to say, watch out for the bitumen because it's bloody slippery. Side, so we've met an absolute cracking bunch of people. I wouldn't say there's one in that group that isn't entertaining. Ooh, mind you, that might be us. Yeah. So there's a thought. They might be all thinking, let's get going. Leave that AJ and Sharpie behind. They're a pain in the arse, keep filming us. No, I think they really appreciated you taking pictures as they rode in yesterday. It's like, like I said, it's not often you get a picture of you on your bike. It's normally you next to your bike or a picture of your bike. Yeah. Or I wonder when the best time is to actually come up to Scotland where you can actually get a little bit of warmth and dry roads. When the midges are out. Oh, brilliant. Mm. So, 
that, that's the trade, is it? Yeah, midges are kind of end May to um, September, October. But what part of Scotland do the midges affect? Anywhere where there's peat, so the highlands. Ah, uh, so you don't get it in the main town? No. So much? But you would get a face full of it riding through. Alright, well that doesn't sound like much fun. So this is our first guided tour, isn't it? Mm. Our first guided tour on a motorbike event. And I have to say that spending three days with these people and actually having you know the, the, the route planned and the, the re re relaxed approach to it, that it's like, yeah, you know, leave at nine with us or go when you like or go early or we'll meet you there, there's the stop points. Um, I was always quite anti, quite sceptical about these tours. And I, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying it and I would recommend it. I think it helps though, Katrina's really laid back. She's kind of, if you want to talk to her, she'll talk to you. If you want to be left alone, she'll leave you alone. She, and yeah. she I don't think she'll, and she's a good laugh. I mean, she enjoys the banter, but. Yeah, um, it's the perfect balance, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't want someone who's like a, you know, a, a sergeant major like you've got to do this you've got to do that you can't do this yeah, you can't or, do that because i think that would just absolutely ruin yeah, it no no doing this or no overtaking or uh, katrina's like we'll just do it just to be safe with whatever you're doing yeah yeah you're just not confident today at all i know you seem really quite shaky i am hello carl mind you the sun's trying to come out look I see the sun. Woo! I don't reckon we're going to be far behind them. They will be stopping in Fort Augustus, so. I reckon we'll catch them up before there. I don't. Do you not? No. A lot of trees as well, so it's, it's a little bit more protected from the wind. Are you sure this is that military road she was on about? General Wade's Road. That, no, when I looked at it on the map, it was the one heading to Fort Augustus. Oh, it's Sandy. It'd be oh, Sandy it. Sanjay. No, that's not Sandy. Oh, no, they're, they're two up. Oh, that must be Chuck. Chuck Norris. But they're the only other two that are two up, aren't they? Yeah. Oh my god! Babe, babe. Oh, shit. Are you alright? Up, you're right. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, hang on, come around this side. Sorry. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, I'm fine. Sure. Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Okay. Hey. Holy shit. I'm babe. As long as you're alright, that's the main thing. I'm fine, darling. I can't yeah. believe I've done it. I know. Or I'll just throw it in the hedge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. Thanks for stopping. Yeah, that's, right. that's, right. that's the talking, Sarah. Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, we don't need an ambulance, but we do need recovery, please. I can't hear her. Hold on. All right, we've now had time to reflect on the incident in question. Well, I'm hoping we caught it on video just for the benefit of this and for our own peace of mind so we can actually watch back what happened. So anyway, you're okay. That's the main thing. You're more pissed off and upset that your bike's looking a little bit... Second hand. Yeah, off-road. Um, I managed to fix the fact that the front brake was stuck on because the brake lever had got bent under. So 
So this this went under and, and caused the brake to just be on so we couldn't move it. So I managed to move that, managed to start it, ride it here. Um, there's clearly damage all around these parts. They, these have done an amazing job to be fair. I mean, but there's, it says that there's an engine fault. Um, because it's on its side maybe. That's bent. Um, boxes are broken or this only this one so we've um, we've done a massive case of unpacking um, put to one side stuff that we can live without um, we were fortunate that Sarah's bike had the pillion seat on there so I took off my uh, Touratech bag that was on mine so we've now put hers spare on there so she can now go pillion on here and we've got a tag sticking out of there um, so we're going to go two up for the rest of the trip. Um, yeah, Susie's looking a little bit beaten up, but not relevant. It's all repairable. It's all insured. It can be it can be put back together. The main thing is that you're okay. Um, yeah, so. In those uh, illustrious words of um, Million Dollar Bogan, the show goes on. Oh, I'm going to look like a right pair of Gilberts. Oh, this is not comfy at all. All right, arrival 20 to 4. All right, we've got four hours, 157 miles. I mean, I can't even see you in my mirrors. We're, we're that, we're that loaded up. I think we might have too much weight on this bike. I mean, the fact that I can't even see in my rear view mirrors. Mind you, I think it's because I'm leaning right forward. It's just that bag. We, uh, I think it'd be a lot better if we haven't got that. Because I'm, I'm about six inches further forward than I'd want to be. I mean, we can, always, we can always choose a different route each day. But obviously, we've got a hotel to get to tonight. Not quite sure how we're going to do any drone flying with the way that we get on <laughs> off the bike. Wow, look at that. Wow. Holy cow. That was enormous. Yeah, that's amazing. Are we filming? Yeah, I think so. It all happened, like you say, it all happened so quick. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I'm, I'm struggling to concentrate at the minute because all I keep thinking about is you and we'll end up both in the pitch again. It's pretty impressive here though, isn't it? Might be a quicker route, mightn't there, rather than these twisty roads. Is that them all over there? I don't know. I wouldn't think they'd be here this long, babe. We've been ages. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a tough gig now, isn't it? Katrina, I'll just put. Hi, Katrina. Sarah has had a crash. She is okay, but bike is busted up and now being recovered. We have just stopped in at FA, uh, but keen to crack on to catch you all up. Where are you now, please? Right, they have only got a 10 kilo limit. Well, they say that, but it's an emergency. I don't know if there's an option for emergency. Oh no, so sorry to hear that. 
Uh, glad Sarah is okay. We're just about to leave Urquhart Castle and we're planning to keep going other than fuel to Helmsdale for a late lunch. Signal is poor here. We're going at a steady pace. Helmsdale's still two hours twenty from here. Right. We good? Yep. Oh, I don't feel so bad now. That's a lot better. Highland Coo! Oh, the Highland Coo! Absolutely. I really appreciate the call. Thanks ever so much indeed, mate. Sorry, that was Chris from Motorrad Tours. All right. He just wanted to make sure that everything was all right and if there was anything that he could do to help. Okay. I mean, we could always take the panniers off tomorrow and just go for a ride out for the day. Yeah, that's what Katrina said. She said there's some lovely roads around Gerlock. It's huge, that, isn't it? Mm. Hey, they're the, they're the Harley boy. Oh, what does that say on my dashboard? Oh, you're fucking joking me. Wood journey possible, ride carefully to next specialist workshop. Yeah, spring strut adjustment faulty. Yeah, we've got to take this to a BMW dealership. I mean, you'd think with the size of this bike, it would be, it would cater for what we've got on here. We're only two people with some overnight luggage, but a 20 grand bike, you shouldn't have to be upgrading fucking suspension. There's cafes too. I was going to say, it's about here somewhere. Was it shut? Yeah, it's shut on Tuesday. It's not going around fucking corners. There could be a there could be a significant plan B. What? Trade it in. I, I, I was a, I was actually joking, but I'm actually not. <laughs> Can you imagine them all turning up tomorrow night? And we're, and we're like, yeah, the GS wasn't good enough for the, for the two of us. Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? No. The Klansman. See that? Mm. That's on that program, isn't it, about the Scottish? What the fuck are you doing there? He's doing a fucking U-turn, and there's a lay-by here. Hey, babe, it's not, you haven't done this. I have, I've now broken your bike. <laughs> <laughs> Two bikes in one day. <laughs> Showing it, there's this petrol station. Don't tell me the fucking move. So I think it's just this, that white one up here on the right. Oh, that's Miss AD. It's probably next to Mercedes. Oh, I can see a BMW sign, but you sure it's Motorrad? It's, I don't know. Oh. Well, if not, then we we'll have to get it recovered. Just have to get it recovered from here and then just have a plan C. There's Back. bikes in there. Are there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, BMW Motorrad, look. Oh, yeah.
Very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going around corners better than it did earlier. Are you comfy on the back? Um, it's not as comfy. Or would you rather be riding? I'd rather be riding. Yeah. I'm and Dad are going to have a shock when we turn up there on Sunday, just two up. They'll be like, um, what's happened here? I quite like this part of Scotland, the, the sort of central part. It's very lush, isn't it? Mm. If it's all right with you, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd quite be, I'd be quite happy if you don't have another accident again. If that's all right. Hotel number three, the Myrtle Bank in Gerlock. Sure, Kazi, sink, mirror. Nice large bed, little seating area, TV, not quite sure what that is. A Blu ray player, desk, and look at that view. Yeah, not quite with it at the moment, it's been a long, long day. 